Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Squad Ops. We are a community that runs One Life Operations in the Game Squad, and tonight you are going to get to watch a real treat, a new operation, Bleeding Shield. I'm really excited about this one. It was designed by one of our regular site lists. Anyway, I'm CMYK Matter, and here with me, my good friend, Google Trex. What's up, Google? What's up, Matter? It's going to be a fun op tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm real excited. We actually ran this one earlier today, if you guys are uh, veterans of the stream. We ran this one earlier today, and it was quite a fun time. I actually got to command it, so that was a little bit of a different experience, but pretty exciting stuff. We're out here on Gorodok, big, wide-open map, lots of trees, lots of rolling hills, some rocks. Not many buildings on this map, but it is a biggie. I like this map. Oh, man. Pretty good stuff. Google, you didn't get to play in the earlier one, did you? I didn't, know. I did watch our stream, though. Oh, so what you're saying is you were doing the proper thing, and you, you came in here and watched the stream and, uh, you know, participated that way. That's good. Yep. Gotta, I gotta know what's going on so I can be here tonight <laughs> and talk with some knowledge. I mean, I mean, you know, sometimes... That's the best that you can do, you know, just to get in here and, and act like you know what's going on. I know for me, I, I usually don't actually know what's going on. I just talk a lot and point my camera at things and, <laughs> and act like that's what's supposed to be, you know? <laughs> Good evening, everybody in the chat. Good to see you all out here. Happy to see you. It's going to be a fun op tonight. I'm excited. This is going to be a good one. Uh, so I guess while we got a little bit of time, we could probably go over the assets and what all we have here before we get into it. See if we can get that going for you. All right. So, as you can see, Bleeding Shield is a showdown between Militia and Russia. The Militia are going to have two ARs, one LAT, one Scout, and one Medic per squad. They also get one BDRM, as well as all of the technicals on the map, including SPGs, Dishkas, so on and so forth. And they get two Trans as well. The Russian side gets two ARs, one GL, one LAT, one Medic. They also get one MTLB, one Transport, two Logis, three FOBs, two HMGs, and a Mortar. The general purpose here is that the Russians are going to be trying to hold on to three different bridges here on Gorodok, and they also are going to be trying to hold on to some secondary FOB locations. Now, funnily enough, in the way that we iterate these different uh, ops, <laughs> we've actually changed the fob locations since earlier today so those ones that are marked on your map are inaccurate we'll uh we'll give you a little bit of a preview of where those fob locations are now so let's go ahead and take a flight down here south we'll show you where the new fob locations are make sure i know where they are first so this map like i said militia is going to be trying to assault and take out the Russian FOB locations as well as controlling their bridges. So basically, the whole point of it is just to, to get into those locations, control them, and try to eliminate all of the Russian forces. So the new FOB locations, as opposed to those ones that were on the map, this is going to be one of them right here, this like little farm here. Interesting little complex. It's kind of this little farm and then you know a couple fields around it. Should be interesting to see how that one goes. We've moved the other FOB location up here to Neva Lower. If you play the uh, vanilla version of the game, then you'll probably be familiar with Neva Lower. So here you go. This is the Neva Lower area. And as you can see, this looks like the place that the Russians have chosen this time. So it looks like they'll be building their FOB here. And then there's another one up there to the north where that green fob marker is on the map. You can see it there. That's basically where those fob locations are. So it looks like the Russians have picked this little Neva lower area. So good little roundabout. Some fields that you can move in through the south. Some trees. Rivers close. There are no infantry rest restrictions on this, which I find really interesting. Uh, they can move across the river. 
Google, did that play out much in the first one? I don't think that I really saw it play out a whole lot, except for like sending one squad across. Yeah, it seemed like they did. They actually decided to, I think they decided to ignore sending the vehicles across and try and flank using the river on paths where they figured they wouldn't be watching because they were looking for the vehicles. So yeah, they did use that that infantry move uh, maneuverability to their advantage in, in certain points. The militia maneuverability is one of the best things about that unit. I gotta say, they do some really interesting stuff with the technicals, at least in my opinion. Those things can move really quick. It's good to see. I like the uh, the wolf packing that we had earlier. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. So if you guys don't know what wolf packing is, it's a method where you string a couple of technicals together and you move them together as a pack and then they can take down vehicles quite easily somebody asking yeah, where they... the fight is we aren't live yet we're uh we're getting ready everybody's getting set up the russians are ready the militia said they were going to be ready in two minutes then we'll get live and we'll actually have a fight going on so that'll be a little bit more fun once we get rolling with that yeah uh, we're go the sls tonight Oh, yeah, let's go for it. Go ahead and give us the rundown, Google. All right. Well, since we're both on the same side, we were on Russia right now. We've got Shadowed Ritual in command of Russian with his four squad leaders of Satan, Sightless, Best Pony, and Silas. Two different people there, Sightless and Silas. And then on the other team, Militia right now is x in command with Mighty, Krusty the Sailor, the Muff Bandit, and Merrick. All very experienced squad leaders. Got a little squad leader there in the background getting excited about things. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh, man. So I got to say, it's interesting. So let's go over the locations. Obviously, Neva Lower is where the Russians have chosen to defend their FOB. We just got notification. Going to be live at 137. It is 138 in the in-game clock right now. So we're going to be live in 60 seconds. Good stuff. Excited about that. So the FOB locations that they've chosen, other than their main HQ FOB, it looks like, first off, they've chosen this southern two-bridge area. There's two train bridges. Well, one of them's a train bridge. One of them's just a regular bridge. They've chosen to put one FOB location here. It doesn't look like they built much in the way of emplacements. Uh, well, they can't until live. That's my. That's what I forgot. Hmm. And then the other one, they've decided to place this FOB way up in the north. It's way up there. That's, that'll take a long time to get up there. good stuff somebody is asking uh where's karma that's probably going to be asked a lot tonight karma ain't here man you got cmyk matter and google checks broadcasting squad ops tonight so that's who you can deal with that's who you can listen to other than that i'm not going to be talking about where's karma the rest of the night <laughs> and it looks like here we go we're getting ready to go live yep we are live so Let's see where Militia is. Militia should be pushing out, right? Ah, uh, Google giving the live call. It's good yeah, stuff. everybody's. Everybody else decided <laughs> that it wasn't wasn't their job. So we'll get it taken care of and get things rolling. <laughs> Oh, you know, everybody's busy with uh, yeah. getting started, getting briefed and everything. And I'm going to fly down here and see what Militia's up to. Yeah, XF is just uh, cruising away in that SPG techie. There's a good number of people cruising away with uh, from the main right now. Looks like SPG That's our we'll techie, all the techies cruising away from the uh, militia main. Good stuff. On your right. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like the Ural loaded up with a bunch of people is also pushing out there. We don't get to rearm these. Server air in the back of the transport truck there. You see him driving away as well. Yes, Sebastian, it has just started. We are getting ready. 
everybody is rolling out of main and they are about to start their assault. So we'll see where this goes from here. All right. Aco Gaming, love this channel. Got me into squad. Thanks, thanks to thanks to you, man. Glad to uh, glad to provide you with some interesting coverage and show you what's going on around here. All right, Xbit live for you, cruising out there in that artillery truck. Google, what do you got going up on there for the other for the other folks? Uh, it looks like we've got some of the guys on the south fortification here putting down some defenses, some sandbags. It looks like they've got themselves a little emplacement here. Just expecting, it looks like, some contact possibly from the south, south or the east. They've got this gun oriented kind of southeast. So All right, sounds they're building good. themselves a little bit of a fortification. All right, so it looks like my camera having a couple issues tonight. That's okay. We'll uh we'll make sure that Google Google has uh the eye in the sky and I'm gonna stick close to him uh so that we can hopefully make sure that we're commentating on the same thing. Usually we would provide a couple more uh couple more perspectives there, but uh the way things are going tonight, <laughs> not so good on my side. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's a good thing we've got a lot of first person cams for you tonight. Yes. Hopefully that'll fill in some of the some of the boredom of Watching just one cam. <laughs> the uh, the first person cams are they're the real heroes of all of this. These guys, you know, all they do stream the uh, they stream their first person perspective, and we get to watch it. Pretty exciting stuff. But like, you get to see that that down in the action. You know, that when they're down in it, and they really get to see uh, kind of that first person, what's going on, and understand kind of the kind of. I want to say stress that you get under. Because I will say, when you're in these ops, it does get a little stressful. Oh, yeah. It's tense, especially with that chance of basically dying and having to watch the whole thing silently. Looks like they kind of, uh, the militia side kind of rallied here at this little town, and they dropped people off, and now they're splitting off again. Some heading, some heading the south, uh, what would that be, southwest yeah. for them? kind of toward that bridge and some heading up to the north here looks like they might be wolf packing those technicals in order to see if they can take out that logistics truck yeah we can't let jay remit go down he has all the hottest boys and drips as fuck so it looks like those technicals rolling out to the east. They're trying to find the logistics trucks for russia if you uh don't know the russians can run logistics in this and yeah, they they can kind of run out there and try to get those built up. Oh, a little bit of a traffic jam there. <laughs> the uh, BDRM just can't quite keep up the speed of the technicals and manage to get bound. block one of them there. Dude, this convoy is pretty lit. So it looks like. Shadowed Ritual actually just had his internet drop. That's one of the commands gone. Hopefully he'll be able to get back in. That's well, rough. As you speak, oh, yeah, he's coming he back in. <laughs> Good. I summoned him back. Magic. Oh, and then we exchange him for Satan. Oh, no. Well, it's a good thing we got a lot of backup uh, SLs and with the fire team leads, and the SLs can take over command. So we've got plenty of redundancy in the command structure. All right, looks like we've just got a Dishka techie here. They just left Merrick in the gun to watch for the vehicle. So the Dishka technical, if you guys don't know, it's got a nice Dishka machine gun mounted up on the back of it. It is obviously not a very durable vehicle, as you can see there, but you can move this thing really quick. If you look at that speed, it can move so fast. You can run this thing around some of the bigger vehicles, get good shots in, but you got to make sure that you are using that thing properly. It can't hold a lot of people, but it's fast, and you got to use that speed. You can't just sit in one place. I love the uh, the technicals. Yeah, it looks like they're setting I'm, up I'm, an ambush here with the BDRM and that Dishka technical. Yeah, they're assuming that the Logi 
is running along that northern route, but so far it looks like the Russian Lodgy is actually driving along this middle route. Let's see what he's doing there. Yeah. So far we uh... haven't had contact yet. Somebody asking how many people are playing is the server full? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are at max capacity tonight. So good stuff. You can see this Lodgy empty running back to base. He's got a squad just to his south. Those technicals are going to hear him. They'll be able to hunt him if they really want to. Unfortunately for them, they're just north of where he needs to turn. Yeah, they might we'll miss see. a chance to ambush him. We'll see what they do here. This could be the first contact. Oh, vector scope driving south. Up oh, here they come. The technicals are chasing it. They take some shots, and it just keeps on driving. It says, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you can see on the map, it's come the whole way out east. It has decided, I am just going to run as far away east as I can. And it looks like they weren't expecting that, so the wolf pack is not moving. Oh, huh. one of them just started to drive away, Merrick. Merrick decided to follow the... Did you pick the right direction? It looks like he's picking the right direction. Me and this, whoever this other lodge is, Vector, are going to cover the train tracks. Everybody else cover the road. Oh, looks like they're going to post up along the tracks here. If he's smart, he won't come back along the same path. I mean, I wouldn't. If I just went to... <laughs> I'm just saying, if I was driving somewhere and somebody started firing on me with a BDRM and a Dishka Technical, I probably wouldn't take that same path. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Yeah, it looks like they're just parked engines off, ready to ambush him here. Yes, they are. That Lodgy is extremely important for getting their defenses up on those points, too. So, last game, last uh, session, they got, I think, two Lodgy runs in, and that was somewhat miraculous, as far as I could tell. Yeah, it's difficult to get those Lodgy runs in. You know, they're... <laughs> you know, I will say, I commanded this earlier, like I said, and the uh, logistics runs, I got surprising amount of logistics runs through. I was actually really surprised with the amount of logistics runs we had. Um, we were able to get three at the start and then two later. You know, usually you would think that these guys would take these out quick, but so far, not too much. How do you guys get the spectating game? We have admin cam access, man. We uh, we have access to the server, and we can shift into admin cam, fly around overhead, show you all these cool perspectives. I mean, not so much me tonight, but others can. I got enemies. I got enemies straight 50, 51 from me. Got an enemy. He's prone. So it looks like Muff has seen the emplacements on the top of the hill by the river. Uh, is that the southern crossing? I think that is the southern crossing. I believe so, yes. It is the southern crossing. So he has seen yeah, those, and he knows that they have up emplacements up there. Right, guys, let's, keep moving. let's keep moving to the west. It is militia versus let's Russia, right Austin. West. Stay down. Stay down. They're there. They're kind of looking for us. Yeah, make sure. Looks like Muff there. Bandit having his guys you. move out to the Don't west. Oh, we might just not get a chance. We might ahead. try to push up on that location. The the good for him to flank. Crossover into India 9. He's in squad three, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah here we there. go. Contact. There is. Oh, shots coming in from the east. Yeah, from across the river, they're shooting at that emplacement section. Yes, they are. A couple guys just hanging out here. You can see here close to me, a couple of these guys firing out from here, trying to provide cover for squad three that's moving up on the south. Looking good. See if the Muff Bandit is going to probably get seen here on this hillside. Oh, he maybe sees them. Yeah, make sure the space. He's going to take the shot. G92 sub key four. He took, takes the shot. I think Muff just killed him. Got one down. <laughs> that one tap. That muff one tap. It's legend. It is legend at this point. 
Muff's entire squad coming up on this defensive position, and they don't know he's there. Uh, they're all looking uh, out toward the shots well across the river. Exactly what they're trying to do, I bet. Distractions. Copy. Thank you. All right, I've got yeah, reports. Very good distractions. You know, I had a squad down here earlier, and I told them, the look heck? out to that Careful. southwest. You're going to get contact. Here they come. They got Muff one guy looking out. Manages to get to the rocks. Copy manages that. to get to the rocks. So we got cover. And now they can Let's begin go. to move. They've got one guy right in front of them there. That is Piddle. Let's see. Piddle holding this position on a rock. He's got his. He's got a frag he's out. Gonna throw he's going to throw it. It's out. Oh, it doesn't oh, kill anyone. Oh, it looks like he bandaged him. Yeah, or he hit, he's got a bandage. Oh, man, there's some craziness going on here. Lots Muff of guys moving up middle. on this hill. Yep. They're trying to peek each other. We'll see what happens here. The legendary Muff Bandit versus Piddle. He's got one guy to his south as well. I saw Muff takes a few shots in. Oh, he dead. downs one. Dead. Muff doing work already. Muff about to throw a grenade. Oh, he sends that one long. Oh, beautiful grenade, though. Right on top of somebody. Doesn't kill him. That was already a dead body. Piddle still holding his position. Oh, and he's down. Good try. Good try, Piddle. Position seems to be overrun except for one guy. Abrasamu. Oh, two guys. They've got two guys here still. Right. And he's and now taking Ambro. shots from across the river. Loading. Yeah. Oh, he's hit. He's bandaging himself. More shots coming in. He's got to know that he's not going to have a good time. He puts out some smoke. I don't know what that's going to do for him. Say here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Rate. Just holding this position. We'll see. Looks like Rate. the entirety of, I think, squad one, this was pretty much gone. Just two guys left trying to hold this position. Uh, at least two guys pulling off the rocks and at least two more running past the road from the They're going to push those rocks, west, but they do have so time. They can be kind of surgical about this, north. you know. They can get angles, make sure that they're covering each other. Oh, we've got – he's pushing. Oh, and Push comes in. Off. Not at all. Uh, that was a uh, that was a rough little push. Rate now pushing as well, trying to do a little flank here. See what happens. He's got one guy over him. Who is that? That is Kennet right over him. S Klein as well. S Klein Over sees him. I think. Uh, yep. There he goes. Yep. S Klein and Kennet down him. So that's squad one, completely wiped. Right down that here is... on this bridge. Yep. So that southern bridge location is now free for them to cross. Correct. You can see Xbit on your screen there. Uh, so yeah, in. See he's looking in that bridge. No, point of view. Yeah, it's clear. All right. He's he's kind of glassing around. He might be trying to ascertain if they're at that northern location. They already swept the the lower fob possibility area, that like lower HQ fob right right area, down. and now he thinks that they know that they're up at that that middle one, right, copy one in low, uh, Neva right. lower. Got and some shots would, coming in. Bring, yeah, and Krusty the Sailor's squad here engaging that. Uh, I want to say that's probably a squad and a half that's on the defensive point. Yeah, on Neva Lower there. Well, I mean, they can push across that river. There are no infantry restrictions, so it's only the vehicles that have to cross bridges. So they could push those vehicles across there. Or they could push on the. Bones. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Han Von Solo here putting suppressive shots into this house. And Shadowed Ritual decided he wants to use the mortars. We're hearing mortars going we out, yep. Yeah, we didn't see that in session one. Not at all. Nobody nobody used the mortars. I did not. And here we yeah, go. Let's see Pony definitely land. didn't. Pony's not Han big bon. on, on, you know, on defense. Indirect fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He likes to attack when he's defending, you know? 
Oh, oh yeah. Looks like they're Mortars pushing a small fire in. team across. Where did they land? They're landing, they're landing in... south, just by the train bridge, but north of Muff Squad. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Ritual pushing, saying they need to be pushed further out and two degrees to the north, I think he said. Or was that the... Hard to hear him over the explosion sometimes. <laughs> a lot of boom coming in, a lot of boom coming in. I love it. Indirect fire is pretty fun, I gotta say. It's, it's terrifying, but it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it changed the game when they introduced that. It really made a lot of things different. Well, you know, the rocket already was in before, or the rocket techie was in before, yeah. but the mortars yeah. just totally changed it. There's mortars coming in still. Oh, Jay Remick gets knocked down as well. Oh, man. Yeah. Got some more shots coming in on Muff Squad. They're I'm trying to take quiet. this fob down. Here. Need, uh, Just keep digging, Ken. You you got they managed to take it down. Just putting some shots back in. They take that fob loca location down, and that means that they are now able to cross this bridge. That bridge is yeah, free and clear. They have control over it. So it looks like Muff Squad right, their fob on these rocks. is going to like swing up, out to the southwest. Copy three. Good work, we'll guys. We'll see what they do from Great here. Great job, guys. Truck, truck vehicle heading towards us. Not sure where exactly they're heading, but they might try to make this a uh, a western approach. The back up here on the east side, it looks like we got some more guys pushing in. What's going on up there, Google? Where's that on the east side? I'm I'm yeah. following the uh, militia guys with the muff bandit here, and he's pushing south. Where are the guys on the east? Looks like squad two and squad five are pushing in close to needle yep. lower at this point. Oh, yeah, they were pushing. They pushed a couple guys across earlier. It looks like they're getting the rest of their squad up and ready to push, too. Crusty, yeah. the sailor in charge of that squad. And he knows how to be aggressive when he is pushing. Really good at, at getting a squad to move. Could that be their main bomb? Han Von Solo in that squad there, laying oh, down yeah. in a bush. He's just kind of keeping some eyes out, glassing, and see what can happen. Shadowed Ritual is trying to kind of give his guys a, a little bit of new orders now. He's saying two, do this, three, do this. Getting some good uh, external defenses is what I'll say. He seems like he's trying to push his defenses outward a little bit so that they're not all on top of the fob location. A good strategy, in my opinion, whenever you make it difficult for the enemy to push through your outer defenses, that means less guys hitting your inner defenses. You just got to know when to collapse, which is a difficult thing to learn sometimes. Hotel it takes a lot of awareness of what's going on on the battlefield, which means you got to have a lot of good communication. And when things start hitting the fan, sometimes that breaks down. Makes for an interesting situation for sure. The SPG technical just crossed the bridge, oh, and, and it is now getting shot here. MTLB is right here, hitting it. More shots going in. XF driving that. You see all the fire coming in. He is pushing through enemy line after enemy line. He drives it right in. Oh my god. Oh, How wow. is he still alive? And he is. Somebody died. Somebody so got shot off Alex. the back, but I know XF I is still that. alive. He has driven away. <laughs> what that? Is that? He's about to drive into the main defensive location of Russia. Oh, he, right oh, here. and there, oh. they got him, they got him, they got they him. They finally managed him to take him down. <laughs> I was not expecting that. He put well, right through. <laughs> that's too bad they didn't get to use this SVG here. Yeah. Like, this is such a valuable terrible. asset for... Oh, <laughs> and just for good measure, they blow it up. <laughs> oh. No more they using want... that in the future, either. Yeah, they don't want to have it. Have anybody get a hold of that. Right, on Von Solo there, uh, pushing Bravo. up, shooting some people up Bravo, on the keep hill. On those rocks. Alpha, keep oh, we've got an engagement uh, going on on the east side of the river as well. One of the squads is pushed clear across the radio. Oh, wow, yeah. On this radio tower here, one one of Russia's squads. Oh, they hit the freaking the techie that Merrick is driving. He decides to bail. He thinks that thing is going down. He is hurt and running for the trees. Merrick, one of the squad leaders, doesn't want to lose lose his life. I'm getting oh, shot from no. the west on the radio tower. Yeah, it looks like 
Just hiding in there. Are these guys now. dead? Are these guys dead? I think this is Merrick's squad. All dead. Russia except managing to defend. Except for Merrick, yep. The Russian force on the radio tower did a great job at, at eliminating that mm -hmm. flanking force. Get some rockets into Nivellor. You know, they, they are allowed to push off once they take contact. So they pushed contact, or they got contact, and then they pushed off, and all was fine. And they came in with this big flank, managed to take down one of the, nearly the entire squad that was here. Except for Merrick, the squad lead. Crazy stuff. Yep. And it looks like they're pulling off the radio tower. They did their job. They eliminated the flank and they're pulling off Merrick being all lonely here behind his tree. <laughs> one man, one lonely tree. Let's see if we can get back into the action, see what happens over here on the uh the actual front. Yeah, let's uh Get back near Cresty squad and the rest of the advancing militias. Yeah, it looks like they are maneuvering here along this southern side. You can see a good number of them pushing up here. And it looks like they're trying to get that overwatch position. Now, Neva Lower. Oh. Neva Lower is a good uh it's a good location, but it does have a giant hill that overwatches it from the west. So you gotta be careful. You gotta make sure you got a squad up there. And they do not. Yeah, and the Muff Bandits uh, squad pushing together with Krusty's. They're pushing them off this hill on the south yeah, side and pushing them into Neva Lower. So they're trying to collapse their defenses. Muff Bandit doing a hell of a job here. It's been a while since I saw him squad lead, you know? Yeah, and as squad lead, he's decided, I'm going to get all the kills for myself with five kills right now. Managing to take most of the people off squad one. Poor squad one had to face the Muff Bandit. <laughs> you got to feel bad for him on that one, you know? It's tough to go up against a guy like that. He's, he's very skilled, you know? A lot of skilled players in this, but... He's he's definitely one of them. To their direct. Uh, so it looks like the northwest. Is this Muff Squad on the north? Yeah. It's northeast. Yep. Ten close. Yeah, he's on yeah. the west. No, he's kind of flanking to the north. It looks like, but yeah, he's on the west here. Yeah. Up along the hill that they're looks hearing the MTLB like rattling to their north. Yeah, they're hearing that MTLB rattling. Yeah. Just to their north. He's gonna stay down there. He's not. They're not gonna want to climb this hill in that thing because it's so. Slow. You can see. MTLB here opening up fire. Yep. He's taking oh, shots at what so we're loud. Oh, he got somebody way out there. Oh man. Oh, uh, he got turtle guy and the something nacho. The Tommy Nacho, newer the Tommy guy. Tommy Nacho, yeah. newer guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's a good that guy. MTLB managing to take that, take them out from ways off. Whew. That thing is yeah, that so is, loud. It is loud. <laughs> I can't hear anything. <laughs> All right. So that MTLB, as you can see, can seat 19 people doesn't move very fast it's big it's clackety it's loud but it can fit 19 people in it has a good gun on it it can do some good work it is uh it's not very good for defenses it'll get hit twice and kind of blow up and that'll be it but good little machine i like the mtlb and I, i'm interested to see it in here it's doing well so far good mtlb use is one of the harder yeah, things to learn yeah. in this game, in my opinion. Let's just stay still, guys. Stay still. Looks like right. Muff Bandit Squad to... managed to get up to... on this hill. Stay quiet. What is this on the the kind of the south side of Neva Lower? Copy. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like... Right, uh, northwest side. Northwest so side. We'll yep, you're right. You're right. Down. I'm looking yeah. at Krusty Squad. Look <laughs> at me not paying looking, attention. <laughs> Han von Solo there pushing up on that side. He's on that southwest side. I think that that's his squad, right? Yeah. Yeah, my lat's on the way. They're moving up. They're trying to get positions. Muff Bandit on the northwest. Han von Solo here on the southwest. Thanks much. Sounds like they've got good squad pumps going on right now. Yeah, let's listen in. Yep, right to that. And they shut up as soon as I say that. 
Is there enough cover that I can <laughs> walk up to that? Or is it too out in the open now? So far, you're gonna set up your beacon. Yeah, so Shadow of Ritual is... is it's up is, to you if you, you want to take the risk. Uh -oh. we'll He's got somebody possibly down. I'm suggest going way to like two west or east. Especially while it's moving, it's hard for them to spot him. Alright, they're falling back. MTLB seems to be falling to the north. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, keep this way, down, keep this way. You can listen in yeah. to Muff here right now. Chattering away with the squad. Straight glass, now straight north of us. Shit. Do we dare uh, make the fucking charge? Tracks. Do we dare make the charge down no, in there, don't guys? Move, don't move, don't move, don't move. It's 300 meters north of 2 right now. Shall let squad 2 know that they're gonna be heading right into it. You're gonna head right into it, squad two, the MTLB. Man. So you could hear there, Muff Bandit, him and his squad okay. trying to Seems decide like whether they want to push in or not. They were calling that MTLB out. Now you're listening in on Xbit. My uh, vehicle's gonna hold just short and regroup. Two, if you can, start moving to the east. That MTLB oh, just clacking around, terrorizing the motion right now. <laughs> It is, it is, the sound of that vehicle is intimidating. Even in a vanilla game, you hear that coming along. You hear that, that diesel engine of all the other vehicles, and it's like, eh, that could be anything. It's not as scary until, until you see it. But that MTLB knows how to intimidate. The, uh... You gotta say it's it's one of my favorite vehicles, mostly just because it's so different from everything else. You know, it's the only tracked vehicle. Uh, it's pretty slow. It feels like it's on ice skates from time to time, but oh yeah, man, I love that thing. <laughs> yeah, driving that thing is a little squirrely. Yeah, have to, per have to perfect those tracks, but it is a lot of fun to play with. I enjoy it anyway. You he oh man, he's pushing in right on Muff Squad. He's about to come up on him. Oh, he doesn't see him on the rock yet. There's one guy close. Yeah, Kennet right up on... Oh, he is on top of Kennet right now. Kennet, Kennet has could, to be shitting his pants. Yeah, he oh could walk God. out and kiss it. They Kennet, <laughs> oh my goodness. Kennet's just looking at it, holding still. Maybe it's sight is based They're putting on an movement. IED. They're putting an IED oh, on it. Oh, they are putting an IED. This is going to be great. He got the IED. It's He's going to pull away. the trigger. He's pulling the trigger. Oh, is this going to work? Is this going to work? Is he going to blow it? Where is it? Oh, come on. Oh, no. He let it go. I wonder if it despawned. I know sometimes you place it under Vix and it'll despawn. Oh, that is heartbreaking. That was going to be awesome. Uh, this is no. the second time in a stream that we have had something like that that <laughs> may have worked. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> I am so sad. I think it despawned. I really think it did because they put it under the vehicle. You can't put it under the vehicle. You know, I'm looking at it on the map. Yeah, it despawned. Yep. That's S Klein. Shots going in on that south side. All right, guys, get in. Han get Von in. Solo. Cruising Is he going to try and sacrifice himself and put the mine down? I don't know. He might. If he does, if he does, that would work. I have done that myself. You can place the mine next to it, and as Tommy, you place it, it explodes. I have eyes on, but oh, oh. Copy. It's it's moving now. Right. Do they know? Yeah, Do they know somebody? No, house. they can't hear him. If He's <laughs> it's leaving. <laughs> that run around. Oh, oh no! No, they see, no, they see him. <laughs> he oh, runs man. away into the woods. S. Klein has to just be. His heart's got to be pounding right now. <laughs> I know mine is, and I'm not even there. Oh no, Muff Bandit went down to a grenade. That's one squad lead. Yeah, the remnants of a grenade taking Muff out. Oh no. Is that a Muff, Russian no. GL? That's a Russian GL down here, I bet. Fulcrum. It could be. Is Fulcrum a GL? 
Fulcrum is a GL. He managed to spot Andy as one kill. That's yep. Muff Bandit under his belt. That is rough. That's unfortunate for Muff. More GL shots coming in, hitting a tree Falling here. Short, yeah. They're techies, and their B is that their BDRM? No, they've got two techies wolf packing here. Putting in some shots in the actual village. Oh. One of them popped. Merrick's, Merrick's G or techie going up. Here comes the assault. This looks like it. Most of the militia is starting to push. The Russians trying to hold this town. This is the last objective. Militia pushing on this town. Yeah, X bit looking like he was really close to that techie explosion. Uh, I'm a two man squad right now. I'm just crawl into the city, see if I can do anything. Get out of here. More rockets coming in, going a little high there. Three and one, try to assault the town with the PLDs busy. Looks like they're sending mortars out. Shadow calling for them to mm -hmm. hold. He wants to zero those in. We'll see where they hit. It looks like most of Russia has fallen back into these uh, into these buildings of Nipa Lower. Yeah, they've decided that, you know... Oh, there's mortars right oh. on top of the hill! They do. They land really close to militia. That small fire team up there. Barely avoiding death by indirect fire. Looking at the scoreboard right now, it's 21 to 17 in kills. Uh, Russia doing a good job here. It looks like they're a little bit ahead. We'll see what happens going into the... Here comes the push up onto the fob. See what they do. Oh! Looks like the rocket launcher there, the lat kit, managed to take down the first guy to enter the building. Another one here on the north. Oh, oh he takes one down. Oh, that's Hammered Hebrew taking down Shadowless and Revy Beast is the last one in there. Hammered having to uh, bandage up. We've got another another militia right, force guys, pushing on, the, on this compound. On rocks, this is the John Daly location of the mob, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's down it's here in, in this city, and they've got lots of defenses. We've got Gooby in there. Gooby the lat kit managed to kill him. Hammered Hebrew looks sneaking up on Revy Beast here. And he gets yep. him. So it's now mostly just this location here. Oh, shots going in. That was another DRM. thing blowing up. Yep. Oh, An IED ID. blows up. Takes one Takes down. A... One? Is two, that one? Two, or two, 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 two down. Yep. Wow, good, good IED. ID. Who was that? That's the Gaming Brennan. Oh, yeah, Gaming Brennan. More lat shots going in north. Looks like Russia has a good... Building. Yep. I'm hearing him say, I can hear him outside the east. I can hear him outside the east. A grenade goes in. Lands, Lands on the on roof. Top of the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they put the fob in the basement of that building. I forgot that Neva Lower had a building that has a basement in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, looks like we got more guys that ended up pushing in here on the on the west the north side. side. North yeah. side. Yeah, they 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 don't give me my compass in this. <laughs> the BDRM pushing in as well. They're on that west side, starting to lay in fire. It takes down one. Another vehicle blows up here. That looks like that was the truck that was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've got the BDRM and that techie up there. Dish Just attack, they raining. raining in hell, yep. Yep. Good cover. They're going to need to push under that cover, though. Another grenade goes in on these house on the north. Goes long, way over the top. So they've definitely found the fob. Oh, another goes down here. That was uh, X-Bit, so command down. Oh, no, command. Well, they pretty much the only thing they have left to do is assault this position, so hopefully they can figure that out <laughs> without their command. 
Oh, Muff saying GL landed right in front of your face. You know, we we saw it immediately after. Uh, it's too bad, Muff. Yeah, you can you can give Fulcrum a pat on the back for that one. Good GL <laughs> Blame shot. Blame Fulcrum. <laughs> Another militia goes down on the northwest side of the FOB location. Militia are having such a hard time pushing on this. Yeah, they've got one, two, three. Looks like about 10 people left or so, at least that I can see on my screen, including that vehicle squad or the vehicle team up there. Absolutely. Looks like they might be dismounting that vehicle and attempt to push in on foot. Looks like it. The disc can be useful, but you don't want to push in close with it. You just end up a sitting duck. Nope, one still on the gun. I hear people saying, oh man, Northwest. They're pushing into this building. Two guys hiding in the attic. Just holding this position. They're managing to take him down. Guys, enemy contacts. Enemy two in. guys breached that building and two guys dead on militia. Looks like Rush is managing to hold that small building there up in the attic. Oh! BDRM went is a down. techie. Dish a techie. Yeah, dish a Good rocket. Went down. So now just a few people left for militia, actually. Is anybody manning that BDRM? I don't think so. Oh, yep, that turret is spinning. There's oh, yeah. somebody in it. Got about six militia and then the BDRM. That's about it. Looks like Truth Realm and Seki. Man in that BDRM. Austin, thanks for checking this out, man. You have yourself a wonderful night. See if you can get a shot. He's got on the him. two guys yeah, circling that small house with the two Russians. I don't think so. The two Russians still in the attic. Can... Anvan Solo One... on your screen, getting ready to push oh, I... in there. All right, I'm going now. They're Hold saying on, this on, is on. becoming a battle of attrition. There's not many left. And it's absolutely watch right. Door, Both right, sides right. down to very low forces. 30 kills and 26 kills. Really bloody battle this time. He's far away. Yeah, yep. far away. Just watch it. Just watch it. Grenade goes oh, in. They're trying to ricochet the grenade up into the attic. Does it work? It does nope. not. Oh, oh they did back make back somebody back. bandage, though. All right, go ahead. Oh, he's, he's yep, they hear it. There goes another one. Oh, it sounds like he's. They're throwing a return grenade down the stairs. I got him both. Oh, and, and they, they died the, the attic. Uh, they clear it, but they the guys in the attic took the last guy, one guy down. Yeah, it looks like there's now one, two, three Contact. militia. Except Contact for the two, BDRM. Two, two, zero, two, zero. And one of the guys that is uh, remaining zero, here in zero. this house and should take one of the guys on the two small guys, house down. down. Yep. Yeah. That BDRM still, yeah, yeah still I, taking oh, pot shots at this house. Was that just a one tap? I believe so. I heard Who one that? shot. That was Miyamoto. He just dropped Zaki. With one tap from here. Oh, Miyamoto, nice shot. You gotta love that. That was a great one tap. Who do we have left? Just the five guys, the five Russians in this one house here with the radio. And then they've That's got... And they've got about six guys, one, including two, two, the BDRM crew. The oh, there's one more militia alive up north. So they have four militia. There's one militia yeah. just chilling in the rocks way north. Yeah, Tommy. Let's just... Yeah. Not the Tommy Nacho. Just the Tommy. Just Tommy. <laughs> he doesn't have nachos. Yeah, together, he, he didn't uh, want nachos today. He's just... Uh, I'm Tommy, and that's enough for me. Over here you know? On the southeast building, that's where we're going to go. Han Von Solo, live on your screen now. Looks like he's there. getting ready to make that push up to that FOB location. Yeah, BDRM that. coming in to support. So we've got four militia alive and the one in the BDRM. Is it just one person in that BDRM? It's two, actually, Looks in like the BDRM. Yes. Oh, two. 
Truth so and good. the driver. Truth seems to be the gunner. So it looks like the speedy RM can cover here as they try to make this push, but this push is going to be rough. Wait, one. And they have the basement that they can retreat to to try and gain a little extra advantage. So it's going to be a rough push to clear that house, too. And now he is yeah. sad. I, I just can't the worst believe birthday ever. Evan SMA, yeah, you can see on your screen, live yeah, in the house. On a, no, they, they didn't waste it. Him, they killed people. Kind of I felt like on. there was two explosions on our... It looks like Shadowed Ritual Command right managing they to stay alive to the last here in the house. Um, I think that I might be fast. I was listening to their comms a little bit while they're over there. Are you, I just give me my logic. smoke some random directions. Yeah, my logic. Yep. You ready? They have, uh... I, I really uh, I'm minimizing his points of view. Guys in there that, yep. Yeah, I think that, it's only uh, the BRDM. BRDM. It might be. So this Hold is movement, setting. I need to listen. If he shoots from the direction he is, I'm dead. It's gotta be only them. One thing for sure is this round was way faster than any of the other ones. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you move stuff over around. They gotta make a push right. here at some point. I like you know? it. Personally, I'm, I'm a fan of Looks any. Looks like they're starting to like maneuver it. up. They know that it's gonna be a hard push, but they gotta use that BDRM to their advantage and see what they can do with it. The BDRM is now making a move here on the north side. Medic here with me. Yeah, make sure you guys are staying together. Now the BDRM looks like it's heading up onto the hill in order to get some good shots in and see if they can. That thing, not having a good time up that hill. It's getting stuck. No. <laughs> a little too steep for that little BDRM. Maybe they need to put racing stripes on it and make it go faster. A <laughs> couple more stickers, right? <laughs> yeah. That's all you need, man. Just slap some stickers on it. All right, moving. Han Von Solo. On your screen, pushing up there. You can see right, I am sure following the BDRM here, and it's trying to get shots in. A lot of smokes going out. So, you know what's funny? They're actually using the BDRM. It's uh, kind of nicknamed the scout car. They're actually using the scout car to scout. Amazing, right? <laughs> I know. Assets don't often get used for the right thing in, in vanilla play, so it's really nice to see it. And in our ops here, we try and be careful to use them the way they're supposed to. Doesn't always work out, but but we like to try. That's friendly. That's our cover. All right, BRDM. BRDM. I'm messing up. I apparently have been messing up. It's BRDM, not BDRM. So there you go. <laughs> chat has corrected me. I appreciate you, chat. The correction has been made. <laughs> Praise be okay. to the correction. All right. Looks the like RDM the... pushing in. Or yep. standing out here on the hill, taking shots in. Copy but the other guy's starting to maneuver now. I wonder what the ammo's like on that BRDM right now. Like, it's got to be getting low. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, there can't be, can't be too much. Oh. Those pot shots are doing really good at keeping them down there. In their comms, there were they're freaking out, saying, "Oh, shots coming close." <laughs> Faffinator, Faffinator actually screamed on his mic there. <laughs> he's he's a little scared. He's a little scared. You can see we're gonna follow this push in. Here comes the BRDM. Yep, it's hanging got... out in the field. Got a group of two on one side, two on the other. More yeah, shots damn. coming in. Oh, that's pretty Here, scary. Sightless yelling out, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> <There's a lot laughs> I love it. <laughs> Let's see if we can see where the shots are coming from here. Oh, one goes down. That's one militia down. That was Evan SMA that just went down. Now the militia has to... Oh, Reloading. Evan SMA took him out. Evan SMA took him out. Evan is still up inside that building. Like, right here at 115. Like, if you could throw it right at 115, get it in the middle there. Now it's... Great. 
including that uh, okay, get ready for a bad scout car crew bad, and the, the guys inside. It's a 5v5. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, this is not the team. Nade comes in, doesn't manage to take anybody out. This location is fobbed up so well. They're almost going to have to start taking out. Oh, grenade bounced. There's definitely two. Oh, took out all the razor wire, though. The nice. Yeah, was, Maybe was he was say, intending to do that. I was going to say, he might be trying to use it to take out some of those emplacements. Right. Yep. Here he comes. He's moving up onto that wall. Now, you can peek along the bottom of this fence. I wonder if that's what he was trying to do. Take out that razor wire so he could peek the, under the fence. Oh, that's possible. And Thaffinator is going to be in prime location to see him or, or get shot by him. Let's get a little closer here. Is he able he's to trying crawl to peek under that, that fence. fence? I don't think he's able to, no. But he's able to see under it and shoot under it. I've done it myself. I know that's possible. Yeah. I think there are sections you can crawl under, but not that one. Is pretty wide there. He's oh, running. He's one running. moving across. He didn't manage to. Start. Oh, Faffinator taking him. Oh, and Faffinator yep. is down. He did not watch the underside of that fence. He didn't see that you could peek under it. And Miyamoto down because of it. Yep, Miyamoto taking him out. Good shots by Miyamoto. Doing well tonight. He took out Zaki earlier with a tap from quite a range. On one solo breaching, crawling under on the east side. Shooting the walls of the building, hoping to pen kill somebody, but nobody's in the building. Get ready, get ready. Watch that corner. Don't stand up. Stand up. Copy. Evan on your screen in the basement, hunkering down. They got an HMG down there. spread out for IDs. It won't matter if they put an ID here. We're all dead. And here they come. They have breached the corner. So now it's just, what, four guys alive in the basement, and that's it? And, and they got an MMG down here. They've got an emplacement. Oh! oh it emplacement. takes down one. How you doing? <laughs> Sightless calling out, getting down. Do you think he had enough time? It sounds like it's a <laughs> He just said, did you think he had enough time to contemplate his existence? For life choice. Oh, the, yeah, the life choice. Oh, my God, Sightless. <laughs> The banter. Oh, Silas is great so... for that kind of banter. Yep. Oh, He's, a He's, He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Comedian. <laughs> Still a lot of them left, I'll be honest. So much time just us the two BDR, or the BDR, uh, BRDM. Oh, God, I gotta get that right. No I gotta idea, stop saying that's it. Right. I heard. The BRDM has two guys in it still chilling outside here. And then there's two that have actually breached. So it is now a... What is it, a four on four? Yeah, it's four on four yep, still. Four down here. What will you do? What will you do, militia? <laughs> Sightless taunting the militia. Taunting they can't hear him. <laughs> Come and die like men. Or run like cowards. <laughs> I could just laugh so like I could laugh all night listening to him just banter, you know? Yeah, it sounds like in in the compound. I just yep. fire them. I'd leave that thing running. Yeah. Right. Or hell, smoke us out. We're just gonna just listen in on the guys in the brain. basement for a little bit. Hear the chatter. Right, hold on, hold on. Oop! A breach is happening though. Inside. It's that corner. Watch the yeah, corner of me. Yeah, yeah. He's going to know when he sees a body. Get ready to pull back if there's a grenade. I'm worried about the grenade. Could happen. I don't know if he has any left, though. RTM. Not realizing there's nothing it can do. Yep, yep. Yep, they just need to get out of that thing and push in. More outside. He hears the fob. He's probably not sure where it is. And now he has realized there is a basement. <laughs> I 
I hear wood. I see him. I see him. I see hold, him. Hold, I hold, hold, hold. I'm not gonna shoot. Yeah. Well, no. Don't tell me that. Yeah. I don't want to know. Suspense. They're me. definitely above. They us. can hear them walking around on those floors. Uh huh. Sightless saying the suspense is they're trying to find their way down. Well, so we <laughs> we know they're up top. Would that Wait. would kill me too? I'm gonna I'm gonna clear. I want to clear this barn real quick. Truth. Get. Yep. Yep. Kind of talking about the fair play rules here. That's good to see. I like that. You know, they're trying to say like, you know, obviously there's some arm or there's some glitches with squad, but uh, you know they're not going to take advantage of some of them. So that, that's nice. I'm going to ride around to where you reach. That's something. Still just cruising around. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're clear. sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, we're I was clear. just we're just to kind of go back to that fair play down. thing. We take. Mm -hmm. Take a lot of pride in in the honor system here. Diving away to Try not to lap. take advantage of stream sniping. Wait, or... wait, wait, wait. Here they're pushing. Wait, wait, wait. Here comes push. walls. He backs up. He it. says, "Nope, never mind." Oh. <laughs> Shots come up through the floor. <laughs> Look at the shots just everywhere on the floor. <laughs> yep, they're just trying to sh penetrate that whole floor there. I, funnily enough, I don't think you can penetrate this floor. I think it's I think solid. you're right. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is going Someone on? Someone hop on the MG. Someone hop on the MG. <laughs> on it. <laughs> oh, they have no clue what to do. They're, they're just ready. like, well, uh. I'll tell you when to the fire. Smoke's still Evan, the on your screen when. there, right. they're firing in a bunch of smokes now. Yeah, there's at least one left, and he was shooting the steps as we went down. Firing down through the floor again. Like I said, I don't think they can pen that thing. Here comes the push. Oh, that was take great, that great call. Sight was telling him to fire and just... Takes him down. He could hear him. This is just like the yep. opening scene of Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> He's standing there listening at the stairs, taking a. Von Von Solo goes down. Another one pushing up. Ooh! Grenade takes out Evan SMA. No. Is this it? Is there only one militia left? I believe so, unless somebody's in that BRDM. I don't know. No, there's nobody in the BRDM. So this is it. We got one left. Who is this? Can't even see through all the fireflies. One left. Just one guy. Should just shoot a fucking. Someone hop on the MG. All right. Hop on the MG. Someone hop on the MG and reload it real quick, Gooby. That is net flame. Last guy alive. Reloading. Reloading. Here it comes. Be smart. He'll fuck come down. He's just here in the reload. He's pushing. Here it comes. He takes down one. And, and he goes old. down. Oh, That's it. That's going to be GG. Oh, man. Listen to Sightless freaking out. Oh, my God. What happened? That was intense. Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to roll it. We're going to do it all again. We're going to get another one. So Russia barely scrapes by alive. Skin to their teeth with two guys. And that's going to be it for round one. We're going to get set up, get into round two in a little bit. But we will be back after that for more Squad Ops action on Bleeding Shield. Thanks for watching, everybody.